boys and girls, we're going to read a book called One Tiny Turtle. We've been studying animal adaptations and how they have to adapt to survive. As you hear this book, I want you to think about everything that a turtle has to go through in order to survive in this world. One Tiny Turtle by Nicola Davies, illustrated by Jane Chapman. About turtles, sea turtles are related to tortoises and terrapins. They are all reptiles. Sea turtles are great wanderers, traveling thousands of miles each year, often far from land. This makes them difficult to study. So scientists are only just beginning to find out about their mysterious lives. There are seven species of sea turtles. This book is about the loggerhead turtle. Loggerheads live in the sea all over the world. Far, far out to sea, land is only a memory, an empty sky touches the water. Just beneath the surface is a tangle of weed and driftwood where tiny creatures cling. This is the nursery of a sea turtle. Passing in a boat, you might not notice turtle. Not much bigger than a bottle top, she hides in the green shadows. She's a baby, so her shell is soft, as old as leather. Just a little fish bite could rip it open, but the turtle is safe in her world of weed and snaps her beak on tiny crabs and shrimps. The turtle swims around, flapping her long front flippers like wings. She is flying underwater. She pokes her pinprick nostrils through the silver surface to take a quick breath. So fast, blink, and you'd miss it. I want you to think about the size of the turtle's flippers and the little nostrils that the turtle has. Think about how these might be adaptations to make it survive in the water. Then she's gone, diving down into her secret life again. For three or four years, maybe more, the turtle rides out the storms and floats through the hot calms. Steadily, she outgrows her nursery. Nobody sees her leave. But when you look for her, she has vanished all the same. A year or two later, she turns up close to land. Bigger than a dinner plate now, she's not a fish snack anymore. Her shell is hard as armor. Her head is tough as a helmet. She's grown into her name, Loggerhead. Now here I want you to think about the armor and the helmet which would be the head and the shell. How do these help the turtle survive? She has come to eat crabs. Millions swim up from deep water to breed in the shallows. Their shells crack as easily as hen's eggs in her heavy jaws. But in a week, the feast is over and loggerhead disappears again. Loggerhead wanders far and wide in search for food. In summer to cool seaweed jungles where she finds juicy clams and shoals of shrimp. And in winter to turquoise lagoons, warm as a bath, where she can munch among corals. Loggerhead may travel thousands of miles, but she leaves no trace or track for you to follow. Only good luck will catch you a glimpse of her. For 30 years, you might not find her. Then one summer night, she arrives on the beach where she was born. She's found her way here, sensing north and south like a compass needle, feeling the current and the warmth of the waves. She remembers the taste of the water here and the sound of the surf. Now here I want you to think about how she has been on her own 
for 30 years. She's not had a mother or a father to guide her or lead her. She's used her instinct to find her way. And I also want you to think of why she has arrived here. What do you think she's getting ready to do? Loggerhead has grown in her wandering years. She's big as a barrel now. Floating in the sea, she weighs nothing, but on land, she's heavier than a man. So every flipper step is a struggle, and her eyes stream with salty tears, which help keep them free of sand. Loggerhead makes her nest where the sea won't reach. Scooping carefully with her hind flippers, she makes a steep, deep hole. Inside, she lays her eggs like a hundred squiggly ping pong balls. Afterward, she covers them with sand to hide her nest from hungry mouths. Then Loggerhead is gone again back to her secret life. Left behind under the sand, her eggs stay deep and safe. Baby turtles grow inside. And before the summer's over, they wiggle from their shells. Guys, do you notice the life cycle here? We've talked about how the life cycle keeps going and going. Here's an example of that. Above them on the beach is a hundred eyes watch on the lookout for a meal. So the hatchlings wait until night. Then they burst through the sand and skitter toward the sea. In the dark, claws and beaks and grabbing paws miss only one young turtle. One day, she'll remember this beach and come back. But now, she dives under the waves and swims, swims and swims, out into the arms of the ocean, far, far out to sea. Land becomes a memory, waiting to wake in the head of the little turtle. Now that we're finished, I want you to think about what types of adaptations Tiny Turtle will have to use now in order for her to survive just like her mother did.